Hard disk drives are great due to their high capacity and low cost, but people often worry about them suddenly failing. What are the warning signs? Is it time to replace my drive? There must be a way I can check the status of my drive, right? Well, that is exactly what I'm going to teach you how to do right now. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on check. Mechanical hard disk drives can last a month, a year, or even decades. And while you've probably been told that if you hear odd noises, such as clicks or grinding noises, then it's likely time to change the drive. And while that's true, if you're hearing odd noises from the drive, it's likely that you should have replaced the drive some time ago. There's a few ways to check the status of a drive. And one is to run an extensive hardware diagnostic on the drive. Another is to use the built-in alert functions built onto the drive, such as Smart. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to check the performance numbers in the drive and how to use that information to make an educated deduction as to the health of the drive. Now the tool that we're going to need for this tutorial is called Crystal Disk Info, which you can get the link in the description. This is a free tool and when you go to the download section, you're going to see three different versions. There's the regular Disk Info, KuraDK, and Shizuku. These are basically the same thing, but they have an anime theme. You can get whichever one you want. We're going to get the regular one for the purpose of this tutorial. And once you click that, it's going to automatically pop up. If it doesn't, you can click the EXE up here. And we can click Save File. And then we'll open it. We'll accept the agreement. Next, next, next. You know the drill. And then once it's done installing, it's going to ask if we want to launch it. We'll click Finish. And it's going to open up Crystal Disk Info. And here you'll see that I have my hard drive here. This is a 3 terabyte Western Digital. And you see my, I have my other drives. These are SSDs. We're not going to cover SSDs today. I'll cover that in another tutorial. Subscribe for more. And over here I have drive F, which is again, this is a mechanical hard disk drive. I have all the stats here. Over here I have my power on hours. This is how many hours the hard drive has been used. So when the computer has been turned off, that doesn't count. It's been powered on 754 times. This information would only be relevant if you're using a drive that you're familiar with that is not supposed to be powered on for a long period of time. So since this is a Western Digital Green, it's not really designed to be powered on for 60,000 hours. However, if you're using an enterprise drive and you bought it used and it's got 20,000 hours on it to 50,000 hours, that doesn't really matter on enterprise drives so much as other data. So that's just background information, but that's not going to be what we're going to look at today. If you see here, we have these different types of alerts. And you want to look at reallocated sector count. Now over here we have the threshold. That's how many reallocated sectors that this drive has. Out of whenever a sector dies or some part of the drive is bad, it's going to reallocate and start using another part of the drive. You'll notice that a lot of two terabyte drives will actually come up as 1.86 terabyte on average. Well, that extra data that's left over is for reallocating sectors. So if something goes bad, it's gonna start using another part of the drive, kind of a self-correcting system. However, with this drive, if this reaches up to 200, we're gonna work at the current don't worry about the worst. Look at the current uh, column here. You don't want this to be at 200 or more. Seek error rate is something to look at. And then a very important one is uncorrectable sector count. Now, <clears throat> if it reaches 200, that is very bad. And the threshold, we have zero uncorrectable sectors. Then what an uncorrectable sector is, is that that's where the drive tried to do this up here to reallocate sectors, but to do some kind of failure on the drive, it's unable to fix itself. And this is a very serious sign that the drive is on imminent failure. The health status on this drive shows as good. <clears throat> and that that's basically, you don't have to know a whole, lot out, uh, a whole lot about it. If it's in blue, then it's in good shape. It might come up as uh, yellow, orange, or red. I believe it's just yellow and red. And, that, and if it says red, I'm surprised it's working, but it might. You definitely need to replace the drive. The reallocated sector count, when this starts reaching 200, you might want to consider backing up your data. You should already be backing up your data, and I have some links in the description for um, Carbonite. If you don't want to buy a $80 4 terabyte, you know, SanDisk USB, and you're worried about that failing, then just do what everybody else does in the professional world, which is back up to the cloud, which I use Carbonite because it's encrypted secure, they don't look at my stuff, and if I ever get ransomware, I just get all my stuff back. I'm back up and running in 30 minutes. So anyway, so read error rate, that's something to look at. 
and if you want to get really technical into all this stuff, but the real case sector count, this is about the value of the drive mostly. If I'm going to resell a drive and if I want to tell people on eBay that I have no bad sectors, then this better be at zero or I'm lying. But this is not a big deal unless it reaches 200. The reallocated sector count, this is where I want this to always be at zero. Otherwise, there's something going on. But 200 is where it's it's really bad. Sorry, here is that uncorrectable sector count. Reallocation, that's okay. And I can look at all my different drives. And that's Crystal Disk Info. What methods do you use to check the health of your drives? Tell me about it in the comments section. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you next time.